This video is for the rear window spoiler and or rear window visor. It's specifically for the fifth gen Honda Prelude. If any of you guys are on PreludePower.com, you've probably seen the group buy thread in the fifth gen forum for this rear spoiler. I know a lot of you are, are kind of on the fence. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a new product, it's a new mold. You don't, you're not really sure if you're gonna buy it yet. So this, I hope, hopefully this video is gonna clear some of that up. So I'm not gonna do an unboxing because I think those are the stupidest videos in the world. But I just wanted to show you guys that it's bubble wrapped and it came in a secure package and there was fluff in it and all that. So it wasn't ghetto rigged in a, in a ghetto box. This is legit. And you know, it's not gonna get damaged in shipping or whatever have you. So don't worry about that. probably wondering what these knobs are. Some previous versions were prone to sagging in the center and like, you know, coming down and hitting the window. Uh, so they came up with this idea to put these little tabs here that will prevent that from happening. So that's what that is. This will easily attach by 3M tape, which you can see around the side. And some JB weld and some metal clips I haven't quite figured out yet. Uh, supposedly, those connect somehow. Anyways, so this comes black. I thought it would have been smoother, but I'm probably gonna end up getting this painted. So, yeah, I'm not gonna install this today. So I'm not gonna install this right now, but I just wanted to show you the process and it's pretty easy. Um, you just peel the tape off pretty much and stick it to uh, the weather stripping that's around the window. Oops. So overall the fitment looks pretty damn good. I don't know, there's not much more to say. So just to wrap up, I know there were a couple of questions on the forums about it, whether or not the pegs would slap on the window. Obviously I haven't installed it yet, but I will update you guys in the comments later on. And if you're on the fence, I would say get it. The build quality looks really good. The only thing, you're probably gonna have to get it painted or plasti dip it or wrap it, vinyl wrap it, whatever, because there are some, like you can see, just like on the top there's some cracks not cracks but like the fiberglass uh, whatever uh, how it cures i guess i don't know anything about it but you're not just gonna slap this on the car as is i guess you know paint it clear it or like i said dip it or vinyl wrap it so that's pretty much it if you're looking for a visor i would highly recommend getting this one because there's not many other alternatives out there. There's just a bunch of crap on eBay that look terrible. This one's pretty good. It's got a good length and it doesn't fly up like some of the stupid ones on eBay. So definitely check it out and uh, support local business or whatever. <laughs> What's up guys? What's going on guys? So today I'm going to do a quick review slash how-to video for the new, well, it's not the new, I mean, it's new, but it's not the new. Uh, anyways, so 